want to welcome you to our Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And I thought to put a little perspective in this that I would give a brief history of Florida soccer referees and then also the Hall of Fame. The history of Florida soccer, which began in 1964, is really about the life history of Hall of Fame member Mac Alarcon. In 1963, Mac co-founded the Florida Youth Soccer Association as well as the adult Florida State Soccer Association. He organized Florida's first state referee program in 1964, originally named Florida State Referees, or FSR for short. Mack, along with his friends Fred Stauber and Ray Thompson, became the first of three individuals in the entire southeastern United States to become registered as referees in 1965 with the United States Soccer Federation. Max served as the first state referee administrator for several years. His long soccer res resume is legendary. Through the years, there have been many SRAs in Florida. Mac Alarcon, Roger Schuler, Fred Usher, Joseph Miroff, Charles Rodney Kenny. Bob Vomaka, Jack Holland, and Joseph Mikna. In November 2015, the then presidents of the Florida Youth Soccer Association and Florida Senior Soccer Association and Florida State Soccer Association changed the organi organizational composition of the Florida State Referee Committee. The Florida State Referee's name was changed to what we have, FL Soccer SRC Inc and there were eight members created for the board of directors. The two state presidents, plus one each of their appointees, and then the state director of assessment, instruction, referee assigners, the state referee youth administrator, and the state referee administrator are all active members. According to U.S. soccer policy, the SRA is appointed by the Florida State Soccer Association and the SYRA is appointed by the Florida Youth Soccer Association. An SRA can also serve as the SYRA, and that has been the custom in Florida for many years. On January the 1st, 2016, Abram Douglas was appointed as the first SYRA of the newly constituted Florida Soccer SRC, Inc. Later in life, Mac Alarcon decided that we needed a Hall of Fame in the state of Florida. And it was in order to honor and perpetuate the names of individuals who have contributed to the referee program of our state. So on May 1st, 1994, Mac established the Florida Soccer Hall of Fame. The criteria is several. Contribution to the State of Florida Referee Committee must be extended over a minimum period of 10 years. The service may or may not be continuous over the years. Contributions to the program may be any one or combination of the following areas. Referee, referee instructor, referee assessor, or referee administrator. The service must be such that is the individual has a lasting positive effect and has brought credit not only to him or her, but to the FLSRC and the game of soccer. Individuals who attain FIFA status, whether as referee or assistant referee, while registered in the state of Florida and meet the minimum criteria of 10 years, shall automatically be considered for the Hall of Fame award. Florida registered FIFA referees and assistant referees who are appointed or selected by FIFA to represent U.S. soccer at the World Cup Finals shall automatically be selected to the FLSRC Hall of Fame and they must still meet the 10-year criteria as being registered in Florida. Nominations for the FLSRC Hall of Fame may be made at any time by anyone using the format that has been provided. All nominations must go through the Area Referee Administrator and must contain the substantiated documentation for verification. 
The ARA will check each nomination for administrative requirements and forward the package directly to the state referee administrator without delay. The, the ARA may or not make any recommendations, but negative or positive, the package will be moved on forward. The SRA will receive the nomination and check all criteria as met and then turn it over to the Hall of Fame committee. Candidates who fall under the automatic criteria will be approved or disapproved by the Hall of Fame committee as appropriate and to be selected a candidate may not receive more than one negative vote of the Hall of Fame committee. The Hall of Fame committee consists of the state referee administrator, the state, referee of the state director of instruction, the state director of assessment, two current Hall of Fame members, and two of the ARAs who are the most senior in tenure than the other two current ARAs. The committee will meet as often as needed, but at least once a year. This can be done via video or audio conference, which a lot of times it is. The award of the Hall of Fame will be at an appropriate ceremony collect, selected by the referee committee, and recipients will be uh, brought at their own uh, at the expense of the referee committee. No more than two individuals may be selected in any given year. Currently, there are ten. 1994, Jan van der Vey. 1995, Fred Usher. 1995, Mac Alarcon. 1997, Joseph Migna. 1997, Gunther Charles. Charles Rodney Kinney, 1999. Sam Homage, 2001, Bob Vomaka, 2003, John David McGee, 2010, and the last recipient was only in 2013, Ray Solinsky, our former State Director of Referee Assessment. <coughs> Mac Alarcon is up in years. In August, the State Referee Committee had a meeting in Miami and we went up to visit Mac to obtain all the records that were needed to continue this program. We thought it was very important since there hasn't been anything done in six years. The following two names were submitted for nomination to the Hall of Fame. Mike Meckelberg Sr. and Ed Gurton. Ken. Uh, Mike, would you come up, please? It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here and uh, do this little uh, study of Mike's life for him in the soccer community. He has a long list four pages. Okay, first off, most important thing to me is dearest to my heart, he's a veteran. Okay, the United States military. And for that, thank you. Born in 1952 in Cambridge, Nebraska. Moved at the age of two outside of Denver, Colorado, where he raised horses, rabbits, and chickens with his parents. He attended school there at Redeemer uh, Lutheran Church. He also, uh, then he proceeded to go to high school where he was a four-year uh, letterman in track, cross country, and football. Also 17 uh, in the Boy Scouts to the age of 17. So he has a long outstanding history. Uh, Mike also had, was married for 41 years to his first wife who passed away and he had two children. Mike Jr. and John. And then he got remarried to a beautiful lady sitting in the back, Doris. Okay? And he also has two grandchildren. Now with that said, Mike's military career started in the Army and moved over to the Coast Guard. After he, he has many awards, citations, I would ask you to go up on the website into the history and read this man's history. You'll be pleasantly surprised, because I was. Things you don't know about people. Mike's history in, in soccer started at the same way that most of us all started. 
and that was because he had children and they didn't have a coach. So somebody asked him to coach, and in 1983, Mike decided he was going to go coach, and that's where he learned how to coach soccer. He got a book, he read about it, and he did his coaching. In 1985, he got his D coaching license. In 1986, he was moved to Tampa with the Coast Guard, and there he took off because he joined Black Watch, which was a big club at that time. While he was at Black Watch, Mike also had a son who played, and he coached him. They won four state championships. Okay. After Mike had left there, after, after that time with the championships and all, he was a certified in 1989 as a grade 8 referee. 1989, he was uh, doing U10s, the U19 boys. In 1991, he upgraded to a grade 7. 93 to 99, he was also uh, selected by the SRA to referee FYSA Youth President State Cup and the FSSA State Cup in knockout rounds. For your information, it wasn't a selection process. Somebody came and they saw you and they said, hey, why don't you come here? We didn't have much that went on at that time for those types of things. In 1993, he, was a, he went to the Southeast Regional Three Championships in Jackson, Mississippi, and he refereed the under-14 boys regional final. He also attended the uh, referee assessors course in 1994, and it was instructed by Mac that you just saw up on the screen. Upgraded to a referee in 1995 of grade six. 1996, he uh, registered as an assigner for grade eight in accordance with the U.S. soccer requirements. 20, in 2003 to 2014, he was an associate assessor. 2010, he upgraded to the state referee grade five. 2011, he became an associate instructor. And 2012, 2017, he was an emeritus referee. In 2016 to present, he is now an assessor grade five. And he is, at this present time, the national assigner grade five in the United States for U.S. soccer. Okay, he has many a soccer appointments. For the things he did, he was a National Professional Soccer League. He worked in the National Professional Soccer League of Indoor. He did the U23 national team versus Austri Austria at uh, Bulletary Academy when they were down there. He also uh, assigned for the Florida Senior Amateur Suncoast League while he was doing this the same. All this time he was refereeing. 2001 to 2005, he was appointed the uh, Area C Coordinator Referee Assigners by Florida State Referee. And from uh, 2005 to 2010, he was also an assigner for the USL Super Y North American Finals and the Super Y Super League 20, U20s. To the now, from then until present, Mike also did from 2009 until uh, 2010, he was also uh, the Adult National U23 the adult over 30 and the adult open cup matches, uh, he, he uh, was appointed to assign those games in the state of Florida. And then from 2011 to 2015, he was appointed by the SRA and the SDA as a group administrator to set up administrations of game officials. First time we ever had any place to log your assessments, my assessments, and I miss other people's. From that time on, from 2020, 2011 to, 20, uh, to 2013, he was appointed by USL and Major Beach Soccer as the director of Beach Soccer Referees. And he was the assigner for the Beach Soccer National Championships held in, in December of 2011, 12, and 13 at Clearwater Beach. He has an amazing history. He also did uh, was assisted in hosting and administrating the first ever FIFA Beach Soccer Referee and Coaches course held in the United States in 2012. 2011 to 2013, he was appointed the referee assigner for FYSA Florida State Premier League, the US YSA Southern Premier League, and the Region 3 Premier Leagues played at the FYSA Lake Myrtle Complex right here. 2011 to 2014, he was also appointed as the assistant annual administration of the National Referee Training Seminar, which was known as the RTS. And he was uh, one of the people who helped us set up and run the fitness test in Orlando every year for this. 2013, he was selected as a referee and assessor at the Veterans Cup held in San Diego, California. And uh, he was also requested by game officials in marketing and support other state associations in the use of game officials to maybe get everybody on board at one place at one time. 2013, 2015, he was appointed the, the joint FYSA, FSSA, 
FSR Oversight Committee by the Florida State uh, uh, Soccer Association. He was also in 2014-2015 appointed as the State Director of Mentors in the Referee Academy. 2014, he received his lifetime U.S. Soccer membership. And from now, from 2014 till now, he was appointed by Herb Silva at U.S. Soccer as the Florida Lack of National Assigners. He has a very long distinguished thing. There's all kinds of positions he held from when he was in the Coast Guard. I remember him as a Tampa Bay Sun Bowl assigner after I was started my refereeing career and we all assisted and took care of that. He has done a lot of things for this right here. I've coached, I've not coached with him, I have instructed with him. I have helped him run physical fitness. And of course, some of you have been here, seen us in this room, talking to you when you were at the uh, FYSA events. With that said, there is way too much more even to go in, but I would love you all to read his history. It is up at the FSRC.org website. Mike, I want to congratulate you for everything we've done, especially you. Mike. The next candidate is Edward Girton. I want you to contrast something. Mike has this long list of all this stuff he's done. Ed, by contrast, has this long list that he has not produced for us. Ed is an example of faithfulness, commitment, not only to our referee program, but also to his family. He is a very successful businessman. And he held back a lot of stuff that he wouldn't send to me. I don't know why, but that's, that's fine with us. Ed, please come up. Congratulations. Sir. Ed Gurton grew up in close to New York, or New York, Newark, New Jersey, and he graduated from Newark. College of Engineering with a BS in Mechanical Engineering in 1973. He is a registered professional engineer. He played, uh, while he was in college, he played four years at the uh, Newark College ice hockey team as the starting goalkeeper. He p later played semi-pro ice hockey in New Jersey and Massachusetts. <laughs> Upon graduation, he worked for Buffalo Tank Division of Bethlehem Steel Corporation in uh, is that Dulon, New Jersey. And the Buffalo tank made pressure vessel storage tanks, field erected, and large weld mitts. He was the main shop foreman. Ed was transferred to Worcester, Massachusetts as a plant manager foreman. In 1978, he transferred to Buffalo as a, two, as a superintendent of the uh, fabricating facility. In 1982, he transferred to Jacksonville, Florida to the position of sales engineer, where he has lived for 37 years. Uh, in 1986, 1986, Ed began working for the United McGill Corporation as a sales engineer, a company that manufactures spiral duct and fittings. In 1988, he became the president of the Buffalo Tank Corporation. In 1981, he created his own company, the Impulse Air Corporation in Jacksonville, and they also manufactured spiral ducts and fittings. Uh, he sold that company in 2019. And now, uh, Ed, uh, in 2018, uh, 2018, in 2008, Ed uh, established his uh, sales coast uh, or Seacoast sales with uh, sales of gelato. So if anybody comes to these events, you know who brings the gelato. <laughs> okay? And he brings it at his own expense, and he brings uh, anything that the referees want. He usually asks what kind of player do you want. He's been married to uh, his wife, uh, Jeannie, for 46 years. They have four children and eight grandchildren. His son Tim lives in Rochester, New York, and they, they have four children. He has a daughter who is married to Chris Kenny, and they have three children. He has a son that lives in Middleburg, Florida. He has one child uh, there. Uh, 
Let's see, Ed became a referee in 1984, and the first game he was assigned was a U8 line. Imagine that. <laughs> Through the years, Ed became a grade five referee and refereed many high-level games in Jacksonville, Savannah, Charleston, Tallahassee, Tampa, Miami, Orlando, Coco, and Fort Lauderdale. In the year 2000, he became a state emeritus referee with the U.S. Soccer Referee Classification. He is currently a grassroots referee. Along the way, Ed became a referee instructor, which is currently called grassroots instructor, and he achieved a grade five state referee status in his referee uh, career. He is now classified as a regional referee assessor with the state of Florida. In 1994, he was appointed the uh, area district assessor administrator under Claw <laughs> Stacy, and he assigned assessors in the games in districts B3 and B4. In 1988, Ed uh, was the state, uh, state referee administrator for Robert Famaca, and he was appointed. He appointed Ed to the position of the area assessor administrator for Area B. In 2004, was he was appointed the ARA in B by the then state referee administrator Joseph Michna, and he still serves as that in in the state of Florida now. Ed has been an unselfish referee administrator to the soccer referees in the state of Florida for the past 15 years and has been a positive influence in soccer referee development since he became a referee 35 years ago. And we have requested Ed to be a member of the Florida Soccer Referee Hall of Fame. And today he gets nominated in for all of the things that he has done for the state of Florida. With that, Ed, thank you, thank you. for everything you've done.